All right. Welcome to day 12 of the advent of code. Um, we did a double feature yesterday. Turned out to be three and a half hours or even more. Um, let's hope it's not that long today. But you know, it is a Sunday. And sometimes the, I think the weekend challenges might be a bit harder. But uh, yeah. So uh, let's get to it. <clears throat> All right, with your submarine, subterranean, subsystems, subsisting, suboptimal. The only way you're getting out of this cave anytime soon is by finding a path yourself. Let me check one thing. Just checking the audio a bit. All right. Um, not just a path. The only way to know if you found the best path is to find all of them. Fortunately, the senses are still mostly working, so you build a rough map of the remaining caves. You're puzzling, but for example, start is linked to A, A start is linked to B, A to C, A to B, A B to D. Yeah, and this is a list of all, all, all the caves are connected. All right, we're going to be doing graph algorithms. <coughs> You start in the cave named start and your destination is a cave named end. An entry like BD means that cave B is connected to cave D. That is, you can move between them. So, the above case system looks roughly like this. Your end goal is to find a number of distinct files. Alright, let's, uh, let's get, get this input. Let's get it in there. Alright, so... We are going to be doing some graph algorithms today. And um, let's get to it. Okay, uh, how do we we read input file path? Okay, we're gonna turn our list of map of a uh, string to string. For that, we need data dot map map import data dot qualified. Oh no, import qualified a data dot map as map. Let's actually check because I think there's like a Haskell graph. Data.graph, right? <clears throat> Adjacency list representation of a graph. Graph from edges. Oh, wow. We could have been using this earlier, right? Okay. Uh, graph from edges. Except the return value does not include functions which map keys to vertices. Graph from edges. Okay, so we just give a, a node and a key. And the list of keys. We have to be able to order the key. Okay. So let's uh, use this import data dot graph graph import qualified data dot graph as graph. Let's not do it as a map. <coughs> let's let's use the proper data structure. What does it take? A okay. Um, okay. Oh, it doesn't actually care about the. Okay. Let's see. Um, right. Okay. Uh, read input. Let me see. Uh, FP equals. Um, so we we're gonna we're gonna do a. Um, map uh, f now we have to do f map a uh, map to node uh, over lines dot read input uh, this is going to be io graph where to node equals and 
And why doesn't it like this? Oh no, it's a read file. Right? And this doesn't work because... Right, we need to do graph dot graph from edges. The actual type IO. <coughs> oh, okay. Right, this graph from edges returns more things. Okay, so it returns a graph. And um, that's vertex and it is like a vertex to uh okay let's do type g node equals just have it a uh, string 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 vertex to a g node and then we have a string which is our key to maybe vertex. We might uh, might change this afterwards. Now uh, it's complaining that a mm, graph. Uh... Well, let's see. So let's actually just have a list of G node first. Why is it? Um, hmm. Ding, 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 ding. What's happening? Okay. Okay, so read file gives us a list of... It's an IO string, right? No, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Which is uh, this one? Okay, now the type of two node has to be um, two node is a string to G node. Um, build a graph from a list of the nodes. You can get that by, by keys, but the list of keys of these nodes should have edges to. Okay, so we first have to kind of figure out the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's very... We were stuck on that for like two minutes. <laughs> anyway. What can I do with this data dot graph? I can do forest, I can do path, returns true, reachable, strongly connected components, reverse top sort. Let me see. What can we do with graph? Can we like, um, we have to, all right. I think we might have to just do things ourselves. Um, <clears throat> Let's 
because I'm not I'm not sure this is the best way to do it okay uh, but how does our so the goal is to find a number of distinct paths that start at start end at end and don't visit all small caves more <laughs> than once oh my god this is like the Euler's algorithm Oh, and then we have small caves and big caves. So it's not just a graph. Wow, okay, this is this is gonna be a lot of work. Okay, um, let's change it. Let's just do read input. Okay, um, so first of all, we have a file path to IO and okay, let's just not care about it, something. So we want to end up with a IO map string of a list of string. And then we want to have, um, we can figure out the keys and stuff later. Read input equals half map a map dot from list dot uh, map pars dot lines dot read file because <coughs> I think like it's not a regular graph hello bello little Annie welcome to the stream and thank you for this cookie hmm Super good cookie. Okay, let's see. So parse here has to return a list of string. Mm. Okay, where parse? Okay, so parse, is it going to be equal to, um, parse prime in, Okay, let's break it all into pairs. So LNS. Okay, so we're gonna say um, map um, where SPL is equal to um, Super good cookie, actually. Uh, not equal to this character. And then we have um, drop one. Because we want to like um, remove the first letter um, LNS.
So the SPL here is a, a list of strings. Um, Okay, then we're going to say pair to list. We're going to say, you know, a comma b is equal to a comma b. Okay, so we map a pair to list. Because we might be getting, we might be getting, you know, like in here, like the start might not be the first one. Okay. Um... So now we have a, oh no, it's a list. Yeah, okay, but these are two strings. Okay, and then we're gonna, um, but we're actually gonna sort them so that, um, why are we sorting them? Because um, oh my God, yeah, so we we can't actually sort them. We we would want we want like start always to be at the start. They won't chat, right? If you buy viewers, like you want people chatting, not, not just like about the thing, not just memeing. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So now we have the. Um, Now they're sorted. Can I just like add a connection? Let's have it a map, not a list of strings, but a set of strings. And then let's avoid this. Um, no, okay. So this one is going to be um, well. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we import data that set. Now we want uh, these to be maps. So pair to pair to map. Okay, so this is gonna be um, map dot from list. See at so it's gonna be a okay. Let's just say a comma b dot from set dot singleton. And now we import data dot set as set, and uh, it's a set of b. Okay, so now these are a maps pair to, and no, we don't need this one. Pair to map. So this is going to be a list of <coughs> strings to set of chars. And now we're going to say, um, map dot union. We, so we have like, uh, we can do like unions with data map, lazy, um, from list unions, um, unions with, okay. So. Right. So we say 
unions with set dot union map dot so now this is going to be one big map uh, so it's going to be this whole thing okay uh, but now we don't need to do this so let's check it out for the example uh, read input example into print gc 3 day 12.hs and day 12. So A connects to B, C, end, and start. B connects, okay, and, and start connects to A and B. Okay. So, um, we have the kind of the map representing the cave system. So we know how each is connected. So if this were a, a, just a regular graph search, we could just start, we could just, um, we could um, just you know, start from start and then kind of check which ones we visited before. And that would be like, so we were trying to have the shortest paths. Those find a number of distinct paths that start at start and at end and don't visit small caves more than once. So what is the start and end? Okay, yeah. distinct paths let's just google it There are cycles, so there are, um, we can't treat this as a T tree. Okay, we can do backtracking. Yeah, okay, I guess uh, the backtracking way works. So we kind of start at start, right? And then we pick one. Um, mm.
do another function is is big string to full is big equals all is uppercase and I think this one is in uh, is a ASCII upper okay so is big okay let's see if we can do like a backtracking solution um numpaths so we do map string set of strings And we do int and we do numpaths prime map start uh set dot empty where numpaths prime big visited mp equals okay so let's think about this problem recursively okay so if i'm at if I'm at an edge, so uh, so let's have here like uh, we do start so cur node okay so uh, so we don't we don't want to so we start at start so set dot empty is gonna be Set dot singleton start. But we're gonna pretend that's a big visited. Now numpaths prime if we have big visited Okay, uh, so we have a big visited and we have, if we're at the end, uh, the path we have is end. Now, a uh, num pass big visited k is equal to um, This is gonna return us the list of string. Let's see. Um, let's see. So, what are the next paths? Okay. Uh, where next paths equals. Uh, So this is like the imp is a mp map dot bang um okay okay and the next next pause equals
and then we do a set set dot so we remove the small visited from this set okay and we say set dot to list on this now so the next Why isn't it? Uh, oh, wait. There's going to be a list of next paths. So if we're at the end, the only possible path is um, end. Maybe this should be uh, like a list of lists. Yeah, it's a list of list of strings, right? It's a list of paths. So the next possible ones are a uh, small visit decay. Now you you won't link to yourself. So we say uh, so we have the next possible ones, and then we have a new sv uh, so small visited so let's just call these next small visited prime equals equals small if is big k uh, then small visited else set dot insert a k small visited Okay. Do, 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 do. So we insert, and this is going to be our next small visited. So now we will say a uh, next paths equals. So we do concat map num paths prime. A small visited prime over next. So There's going to be a list, a list of chars, um, and then we have map k next paths. Map k, so we're going to add k on the front of all the next paths. Let's just check if this works. It might actually work. This is the magic of uh, recursive things. They're gonna loop or it's gonna work. Oh no. Okay. A print paths. So start A B A C A end. Wow. I think it actually worked. I think it actually worked. Damn. <laughs> See? This is the beauty of uh, recursive stuff. You don't really have to... You don't really have to be sure. Like, you just... You just kind of... This, this is how we solve Sudokus, right? We pretend we know the next step. And then we just, like, we find that... Yeah, I think this one works. Let's run it for example two. God. Damn. Two to 19 paths. Okay, and then we have even larger. I'd like to see you do this in Rust. Two twenty six. Okay, let's do it for the input. Ooh. I am going to chalk this up as an absolute V for uh, functional programming. Okay, let's see. Time it. 5178, 23 milliseconds. 
paste it, save it. We did part one. And it only took us 35 minutes. We will celebrate with slightly more cookie. Mm. That's good cookie. It's called Vanilla Cripple. Vanilla Cripple? Cripplin. Cripple. No. I'll get the name soon. I think a little Annie might know the name. Okay. Big case can be visited a number of times. Single small case can be visited most twice. And the remaining small case can be visited at most once. Oh my god. Vanilla Kipferl. Vanilla Kipferl. So good. Okay. Enough of the cookie porn. Okay. So however, the caves names start and end can only be visited exactly once each. Once you leave the start cave, you may not return to it. And once you reach the end cave, the path was done immediately. Okay, I think uh... so. Let's uh, call this task one. This is a uh, length. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I am just going to pick one of them, one of the small ones, and uh, and then we're just going to pretend it, pretend we do it. Okay, so let's see. Ding, 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 ding. So task two. Okay, so we're going to keep the same approximate structure. Um, but we are going to say... We are going to say, um... Map. We're gonna map these over the small ones. Okay, so we're going to say um, small keys equals a filter. So it's not equal to start. So, okay, we have a X, a key, and then a key is not equal to start and key not equal to end and a not is not is big k over a uh, map uh, keys mp so these are the oh my god yeah can fix this over small keys where uh Flip. I think I can do it like this. Uh, and then we have a two K two uh, twice key. And uh, this one is not happy because um, yeah. 
So it will return a, a list of list of strings, but I want this to be unique. Set dot from list a dollar set dot to list dollar um right uh, so i have a concat map so but now i get some paths twice probably so we just do set dot to list dot set dot from list over this look at the unique paths okay uh, so we can do this for the k2 twice key let's see twice key now this is numpass a uh, concat map numpass twice key now okay so now we have the twice key but we need to check if um, if the twice key has been visited. Okay, so um, So TK visited. Oh, let's see. Twice key visited. Uh, let's call it TKV. 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 Uh, is gonna be false. Big visited um, TKV. The second argument if any in uh, numpads. Um, TK TKV. Okay, so this one starts with a could match expected type map string. What? Let's uh, put the numpaths prime. It's a set of strings uh, to a bool, to a string, to a string, to a list, a list of a uh, string. Oh, oh no. TKV. Okay, um, so twice key. So uh, TK v prime is equal to um it's gonna be t k v or a k equals equals twice key so we have here a t k v prime so small visited is going to be if is big k then small visited else if not t k v then so if twice key visited then um so this is going to be if is big K or a T K V. Okay, otherwise we don't insert it and then we check for the twice key and then we do the blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's run this. And now we seem to be getting to a loop. Oh, it's doing it for the input. That's not good. Let's run on the example. Example. Ding, 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 ding.
Hmm, it's getting stuck somewhere. Let's see. Okay, uh, let's just check first. Trace show it. The small keys are BCD. Now, uh, so TKV of a twice key, so we don't actually care here. Okay, and now we, and we don't even care about the big visited here. Okay, but here we care about the map K next paths. So let's uh, do trace show ID on this expression. Okay. I think we have to say not TKV here, actually. Hmm. It seems to be doing too much work. Also, like, we we're also supposed to count the paths, yeah. Okay, anyway, we, we have the uh, key we're allowed to visit twice. I think it's just a, a small error somewhere. Okay, uh, at least look at our example. This is our map. Maybe B, C, and D. Why is a C not in the map? K is not equal star. K is not and uh, not is big K. Is it because? Uh, wait. Right, it's not in the um, it was not in the list, right? Which should be PCD. Okay, it's it. Okay. Let's uh, ignore this one and let's um, ignore this one. We're gonna make this into a, a map string to int. Okay, and then we're gonna put them back in there. Uh, but we're gonna we're going to allow it to be um, We're gonna say, we're gonna add start here. Um, right. So this is gonna be the, we're not gonna have twice key here. 
um, but rather a TK, we're gonna say that this one is a map out from list a start comma one. Um, TK comma minus one. Okay, then we are going to say um, now we're just passing around the small visited and small visited prime is going to be a um, map dot update. Uh, so this is going to take the. Map dot update. Update value at a specific key. When the key is not okay, so up adjust okay, so update updates the value at x. Okay, if it's if if fx is not an element. update with key so this is map update with key and we get the uh, k and we get the v and we do a just v plus one so we keep track of how many times we visit all of them well, isn't it? And so next is going to be a set to list a and now we're going to say a map dot filter map filter and so we check the ones that are map dot filter larger than equal to one of the a uh, mp and this is a new map keys let's see like the uh, how do I get like the two list uh, to ask list set right keys set minus minus a map dot keys set okay a now this one is a set input where now we're gonna say map from list ding, 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 ding. A, now this one uh, don't pass this back to two few arguments. Okay, yeah, we don't care about this one either anymore. And we don't have that twice key anymore. And uh, small visited prime. A uh, map update with key. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Map update with key. Uh, and then a function. And then the key.
updates the value uh, if well right Oh, I want alter actually. I want uh, map dot alter, and then it takes a um, up df. Okay, and the uh, update is going to be up d of uh, nothing is going to be equal to just one up. D of just just n is equal to um, just n plus one. Now this one is going to be mapped off filter larger than one, and it doesn't like a one here. Uh, why is it? Mm, oh yeah, this one should be. Let's see if this. What is this? This does not seem correct. Let's uh, remove the... Uh, oh, right. It's because I am... I forgot the if is big k. Then else. This one looks better. Now let's compute the length. We get 36. Do, 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 scroll down to part two. Oh, there are 36. Okay. Now, example two. 103, example 3, 3509, okay, I think we're good. Thirteen hundred ninety four. We finished day 12. exactly in an hour we just hit eight o'clock i think yeah this was good i mean it looked very bad at the beginning we're like oh no we're gonna have to use graph algorithms but turns out graph algorithms are just a uh, graph algorithms are just yeah so like i mean we i mean we didn't know how to do it right so we had to like check, right? Discrete. I mean, like we Googled like number of paths in a graph and said backtrack. Okay, that is the only thing we needed to backtrack. And I mean, it does take a uh, one to six seconds. And we could probably get away with uh, something faster. But I kind of like here that we could technically, um, 
we can see, we could you know if the problem had been count how many times each one has been visited in each of your we could have done that right and uh, 1.2 seconds yeah is that that's okay right Let's see, because I usually have that like, hey, if it's more than one second, we try to optimize it. So, let's see, well, how could we make this faster? Um, so, one of the things here is that we have to kind of iterate through all the keys in the key set. How long do we was task one? Let's actually see how long does it take for us to find the unique path without the unique. Oh well. So just the part where we find the uniques is taking us a. Um, That's taking us a lot of time. How can we avoid that? So we've done it already, but so we're taking a long time and it's because we kind of find all possible paths per key and then we have to... And then we have to... Um, then we have to find the unique one and that's taking us a long time. list of list of strings i'm wondering if we could um, can we make it like smaller somehow Because only the ones that uh, only the ones that visit that one twice will be uh, if it only contains it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
let's see. How can can we like do it at all at once, right? Like um In fact, just, just kind of just figure out the paths that uh, contain the one we visit twice. Yeah, I mean, there's probably like a, some other solution that kind of does it uh, in a better way. Because you can also like start from start and start from end and then kind of compute them at the same time. So because we get 130,094, um, but if we don't remove the duplicates, we get 161,162. So there are like, um, let's see, what, what would we get for task one? Let's do here, uh, string. Five one seven eight. Um, and how many small keys are there? Let's see. Price show length small keys. I just want to see oh, wait all right this is task one so we have five one seven eight and seven now seven times five one seven eight three six two six four. One six six three four zero. Uh, okay, we can't like. Yeah, okay, that's not enough. Uh, okay, let's say uh, let's keep it at you know if it, it's still it's still it's still one second, right? You know, it's not two seconds. It's not. It's not twenty seconds. You know, it's still. I think it's still a reasonable amount of time to solve it. Um. We can probably change the map, right? So that it's like a you can kind of map, yeah. Okay. Can we use like a Haskell hash map? Because now it's like using like an ordered map, but uh, this is like a, this is unordered constrainer containers, which is not. Uh, yeah. All right, I think we're gonna cut it, finish it today. Uh, we did it in an hour. Took us 1.2 seconds to finish. Uh, whereof a lot of that time is just making things uh, unique, which is a uh, yeah, and I think there's probably a dynamic, like, we could probably keep track of the ones we found. And then, kind of, um... You know, kind of... Yeah, and then kind of, like, 
So if we had all the paths in the single visit case, and then we could kind of from those, you know, figure out where to add the new cases and then compute it a bit faster. But uh, it's gonna, it's, it would take us like another other hour or half or two to figure that out. And I mean, and we don't, we don't, I like the gains wouldn't be crazy. Right? It's not like, oh, we couldn't do it in a reasonable time. Um, so I think we're gonna call it quits for today. But uh, yeah, I like I like this solution because it also like keeps track of how often we visit, how often we visit them. <laughs> what if we? Let me check. Is the filter here taking a long time? The filter takes a very long time. I mean, it's also visiting a lot more things. So let's see. Num seen TK. Let's pass that 2K here actually. A TK string. We don't care. TK. TK. So, uh, num TK equals uh, map um, Let's see, um, um, uh, let's see, so all scene equals map dot dot keys set small visited. Okay, map dot key set small visited. Okay, so and then we say all scene prime equals if a case a small visited map dot bang a tk of just one is going to be a let me see um yeah i mean that's i think that's fine right because it's uh, that should be fine let, well, let's check that later okay say well, let's see okay small visit map tk of okay if it's just the one then it's small visited um then uh if it's just so if we've seen it only once then we do Set dot delete. Then we do a TK set to delete on scene. Otherwise, it's just all scene. The square root function in Haskell. How is it not, uh, how is it not precise?
I don't quite uh, I don't quite get the question actually. Um Uh, yeah, okay, I mean, that's just a floating point error. Yeah, we don't have infinite accuracy, right? So you have to, you have to take care of floating point error specifically, right? So you just have to say, you know, FPEQ. A, B is equal to uh, A, A, B, S, A minus B less than equal to less than delta. Delta equals like 0 0.0001, right? Uh, and then F, B, E, Q skirt. Uh, let's just do product dollar map S, Q, R, T, uh, 5, 5. And five, yeah. So that's how you you do floating point equality, right? Because you cannot trust. You know, I can do one plus. Uh, what what is it like? Uh, floating. It's like zero point two plus zero point three, right? Something like that. Floating point error. Uh, what is the classic example? Um. Uh, Uh, error. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it is. A uh, floating point error in JavaScript. And then you get like the... Uh, yeah, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. Right, so you get this, right? So if you say, is this equal to 0 0.3, you get false, right? So you have to write the FBEQ. So yeah, so you always have to do a delta with floating point because uh, it's not precise. So I mean, yeah, because the square root kind of seems obvious, right? But like, you know, these numbers, like how are you going to... How are you going to make this equality work for that, right? Another, you have to like make this one be equal to 0 0.3, which some languages do, or you do, you like configure like a delta. Oh, and that's like, and that's the thing, right? You need to know what your position is to make a, to make a proper dis decision. Um, So what this was first was it maps dot keys set uh, map dot filter larger than equal to one mp no uh, small visited right was like this Why is it, uh, what, what did we change? It was like this, right? It was doing the right thing. Yeah. Okay. And then I just passed, uh, TK along. I'm just solving, uh, because it takes 1.2 seconds and we want to get it under a second. How fast did you do it to me? To me knows all the tricks. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Right, but like how was, what's your, I know it depends on CPU, Demi. What, what's your like approximate? Are you just saying that because it was slower? Num TK equals case a TK map dot bang. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the CPU, right? But we're doing 1200 milliseconds. It is 300 milliseconds. Yeah, so 60 milliseconds, right? That is, you don't have a, a CPU that's uh, 20 times faster, right? Do 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 do. map map dot key set okay and this is gonna be so if it's just two it's svks otherwise it's a svks set dot delete just n case n larger than equal to two svks set dot delete a TK. Um, right, this is gonna be what's wrong here? Right. And Now we don't have to do this filter, we can just say to remove. All right, I think that should work. Oh my god, it doesn't work. It's because it's uh, this one should be. Okay, that optimization didn't help at all. So yeah, let's uh, try this other one that uh, instead of having these as set of strings, we have them as uh, this list of strings. We actually don't do lookups. Uh, well, we do do lookups actually. We do it here. Yeah, I think that's the thing, right? We we want these to be sets. I mean, we do set the list like always. Uh, but uh, okay. Okay, Timmy, how did you do it? Because we, if we re if we don't, uh, I think we yeah. So cause we we're not currently tracking the. Uh, like unique path so we can do it in like 500 milliseconds uh, but uh, it's because we compute again and again and again without the unique paths and i'm thinking you can like uh yeah but let's see you can kind of you can use the paths you find and then you can kind of compute from those right uh, but yeah How about let's change it, okay? So 
So instead of having the two key here, let's try to copy task one, but like add a fake node that has the same connections as um, so task uh, two. MP prime. This is going to be um, has to prime uh, MP um, dollar, and then we we need to still figure out the small keys. Okay, we found the small keys and we're gonna... So instead of referring to MP here, we are going to refer to... We're gonna say map to small keys. Where MP... Task to prime a uh, MPK equals where so it's going to be MP prime. And um, MP prime is going to be, um, we're going to say, we're going to say, uh, so the, the neighbors of uh, KN is equal to uh, map dot bang. So it's going to be MP map dot bang K. Uh, so these are the, the neighbors of K. Okay, so um, we are going to take those neighbors. And we are going to say a map. A, we're going to say K plus. I think this one, the is big will fall, fail. So just say any here. Okay, uh, and this one will say a uh, case. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, and it doesn't like this one. And it's actually like this. Okay, so we get the, um, and we're mapping over the, the neighbors. And okay, so we get the, the K neighbors is a MP map bang K. Okay, so NKN is going to be equal to, uh, so, okay, so MP prime is going to be equal to, um, map dot insert. Uh, we just say, you know, to uh, K, we add two to the front of K, or just say mod K, yeah, no, uh, yeah, two K. Okay, and we're just hoping that this won't be, let's say, a dollar K. Map insert dollar k is going, to, uh, and then we add the k n. So we added that. Um, no, it's complaining about the ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because we we re return a. We still need the uh, unique one. No, we don't need this actually. 
So we just say, oh, we do need the, the uniques because we're gonna still gonna get a bunch of different ones. Uh, ah, and, but they won't be the same. We're going to give this optimization a go and then we are going to uh, call it quits. Just to see if it actually does something, but uh, I don't think it does. So we insert with uh, the modified one, uh, the MP prime. Okay, and we say uh, map fix path. We need to fix all the paths as well. Where a uh, fix path of uh, equals map fix a. So this is essentially saying that if it starts with dollar k, it should just be k. Uh, Fix path where fp dollar k dollar k is equal to k and fp otherwise is equal to uh, k is equal to k map fix path a uh, map yeah okay okay uh, so we fix the paths uh, but this one is going to be we insert this one. And then we do um, MP prime prime is equal to folder um, hold R uh, and it's going to be alter. No, it's going to be update. update actually a yeah okay update and we're gonna say fold our update so we're gonna take in all the new the other keys and we're going to add a we're gonna say a set dot insert a Okay. Now, um, uh, what's going on here? So, map dot update takes in an A and uh, Returns a maybe a so we're gonna say just set dot insert k and mp prime. Um, so mp prime is still the map, right? Now fold r. Yeah, it takes in the face value mp prime. The prime and it should be and the should, and the other one should be. Okay, and maybe it's fold L prime. No, it is fold R, but it's saying that uh, I expect a K, K map a K is actual type MP prime is applied to too few of argue. Oh, right, I didn't, I forgot to. App K and MP prime MP. So MP prime prime and then this one should be MP prime prime. So let's see if this actually does anything. Non-exhaustive patterns in lambda. All right.
Okay, that was uh, actually way slower. Pretending to add a new value. It's just worse than uh, just counting. But uh, let's see, is it best because we produce a lot more paths? No, it's actually just, uh, it's actually just slower. Okay. So we, we're going to prefer this one. Oh my God. Okay, Timmy, can you tell us how you did it? How did you make it so fast? Before we end this. So here's our approach, right? Um, we we just kind of generate a map. So we have like a recursive descent. Algorithm uh, with backtracking. Uh, and it, it's kind of magic, right? It just kind of, it finds all the next paths. And then it maps, like, it adds K in front of those. Um, so you kind of, yeah, so you start somewhere, right, and you, you find all the paths. Uh, you figure it if you... Yeah, I mean, we do that here, right? We say... We, we kind of remove the ones we've already visited. Uh, and we so instead of... Uh, yeah, and we keep track of it with a map. So we just kind of mark. Every time we visit a cave, we count. Okay, we visited that now. Um, we actually, this is simpler than this because we don't use the TK here. So we just mark it and, uh, and then, so we kind of just say, okay, we, we mark the one with a minus one and How did you represent your graph? So our graph is represented by kind of just making a map of all the connections. Maybe if we made it like one way. I'm not sure that's uh, okay though. Let's see. I don't think this works. No, exactly. Because we can go both ways. Uh, 
I mean, so most of the time in our solution is actually kind of removing the ones that are, so finding like which paths are unique or not. And uh, that's actually taking half the time, removing the non-unique path. So do you like keep a track of, uh, Uh, do you keep track of it somehow? Let's say, uh, yeah, I think that's maybe, uh, maybe that works. Maybe we can, um, because we have a map, a map of set of strings because we take the key set here. So, but like, maybe we can, um, Maybe we can say here something like um, k uh, set dot lm small visited equals nothing otherwise. Um, so it's, uh, let's do it like this. Maybe this like key set filter here is uh, the one that's worse. So if we've never visited it before, then we want to do this. If it's just one, uh, where this equals small visited map k. Okay. Okay, so if this is a uh, this is nothing, and it's like this is this is just k one, and uh, let's have tk here, tk, T tk, if just one, and uh, so let's not add it here. And uh, k is equal to tk. So we've seen it twice then. Okay, let's see like this. Yeah, that's what we also do here. We do that in task one. We always filter out if the if we've if we've seen it before. Right? So we do task one the same, but for task two, we're like mapping over the small keys. Right? And then for all the small keys, we're gonna be generating a bunch of uh unique you, then we generate a bunch of different ones, right? And then we have to check for those that are unique with respect to that. Let me see here.
I would just give uh, k zero. So if it's nothing, it should be mapping over the next one. Probably just returning uh, empty strings at this point. It's gonna be empty still. Why is it empty? Don't care about taking it here. If um do 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 do. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's gonna be okay. So we do um. Let's see. small visited okay it's uh, not actually checking any of them all oh, right because we were starting at start and then Just do map dot empty here. Are we just looping now, or is it just super slow? Okay, but now it now it's doing the the thing, except it's uh, not doing the unique ones, but it's doing it slightly faster, right? Okay, um, we don't actually, yeah, okay.
Okay, so, um... If that card member... I'll just see what... TK V, that's TK visited. Okay, let's see. Set that member. A K small visited. Okay, if uh, so, if we've seen it before, and k is equal to tk, and and tkv, and k is equal to tk, then it's empty. Okay. Um, okay. So if uh, otherwise. Uh, is it it equals as uh, k set on member small visited okay if it's been visited and we've seen it before comma tkv is equal to so then this one should be tk and it starts with a it actually starts with false okay if a visited Okay, otherwise, if it's not visited, or then we do the uh, uh, otherwise, we say visited, the next path, this is going to be TKV, or this is what we're going to do initially, right? Okay, but now it's not visiting it twice. And it's taking like 300 milliseconds just to do that. just a uh, I don't know what's happening here so like the the new value is like either it's already true or we're looking at the new we're looking at it right now Okay, so if it's visited and we've seen it before, um, uh, 
Oof. What am I doing wrong here? So we're not allowing it to be seen twice. Visited not TKV. So K not TKV. K equals TK. Then it's a continue. Otherwise, if it's With visit with and uh, k is not equal to tk, then we're done. Okay, otherwise, if it's visited. And TKV and K is equal to TKV. TK, then we are done. Visited. Uh, I'm doing something wrong here. I don't think this one works. Let's just keep it as it was. Trust in the undo buffer. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think let's uh, change it. If it's if it takes longer than two hours, then we no two minutes, then we quit. Let's call it quits for today. Uh, we've been doing trying to optimize this for an hour, and nothing's happened, right? And I'm gonna do different stuff. All right. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, see you tomorrow at uh, seven o'clock again for the next one. All right. Bye-bye.